Hello everyone, Rob the Backyard Gardener here. I'm going to uh, give you an update on my indoor grow room. I'm going to show you um, uh, maybe another little package that I want to start some uh, peppers in. And then I'm going to give you an update on my Caribbean blend pepper that has the uh, conjoined twins and the colors that it's starting to show. So let's, uh, let's take a look inside here real quick. So just a real quick update. This is my... Um, Serrano pepper. We've actually struggled with uh, aphids and no matter how much I try to treat them um, and All it does is damage the leaves as you can see it still produces pepper, but flowers fall off and uh, Leaves fall off and it's an ongoing battle lesson learned if you're gonna overwinter plants rinse them really good treat them really good chop off most of the leaves and just be careful because uh, it's been several months, been three, four months that I can't kill entirely the aphids. They go through spurts of coming and going. But I am going to be uh, probably harvesting some of these peppers today and I'll probably put a, a, a recap of what I harvested at the end. I've got another one over here, um, another Serrano pepper, and it's got several harvestable fruits on it. Um, I like them green like this. I don't like them... Um, to turn red I like the flavor I think better when they're green but I've got two of those we've also got a uh, early prolific uh, summer squash here looks like we finally got a fruit set now I had to uh, hand pollinate these with a q-tip by taking the pollen out of the male flowers which are the long thin stemmed flowers like you see on these right here and then the female flowers which you get a good look of one coming in right there already have kind of a beginning of a fruit and once you pollinate them they start filling out so looks like that one might stick got a couple of early prolifics there um, they're doing just fine maybe I'll get some squash out of those I've got my coco, coco gazelle zucchini squash here we're just starting to get the female uh, fruit flowers fruit stems coming in you can see the zucchini starting there uh, it's not pollinated yet, it's not open, but we do have several several male flowers on this plant, so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to uh, take our pick here. And then, of course, we have the two runts, the uh, early prolific and the cocozelle. Not much going on there. I started some cilantro and chives shortly after my last update. The chives have not, uh, they have not sprouted. But the cilantro has, and only about half has. So, you know, I guess that's par for the course. They were old seeds. They're a little over a year old, and that's what happens. And then we've got some uh, salad bowl lettuce started. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to take the tops of these off, let these guys breathe a little bit. And we've got some butter bowl lettuce as well. And, uh, you know, just trying to mix up what I got in the indoor grow room here. Onto this, I planted some New Mexico Big Jims on 123, my favorite uh, flavor pepper. Got four that sprouted. It's going to be a little bit for these guys who are really ready to rock and roll, but we did get four out of them. And then I also planted my red savinas. Now, these are seeds I reclaimed from that one pepper I harvested last year. And unfortunately, so far, only one has sprouted. It's not uncommon for them to go 12 to 15 days, and I haven't kept the indoor grow room much past 72, 73 degrees. Under these lights, it gets about 76, so we'll give it another, another few days, and if nothing sprouts, I'll just go ahead and pot that one up. I decided to uh, pot up all my gala apples. We've got uh, three of them, and uh, you know, for an experiment, we'll see how they do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna grow these to uh, trees, or if I'm just going to play with them a little bit and see what I can get out of them. Or if I'm going to graft an apple of my choice onto them once they get a little uh, thicker rootstock here. But uh, we're just seeing how it goes. I did start um, some Brussels sprouts and some broccoli in this little Jiffy um, container. It's the kind that you have the 16 pellets and uh, you add some warm water and they fly up and then you just plant the seeds in. So when they all sprout, I'll take the dome lid off, but for now they're baking away. We got a white habanero back here. This one has really struggled with the uh, pests and it seems like I'm constantly having to tear off leaves like this. 
um, that are just sucking the energy out of it. And then it puts new leaves out again, and then the aphids show up again. And I have inspected every inch of this plant, and uh, I've even washed it off with the hose outside. It just, it cannot hold, it cannot hold fruit. It drops the flowers right away. It does have one more left on this one, and we'll see if this next round will hold. But it gets these little flowers like this, and um, they just, they can't, they can't, uh, I guess I can't focus either. They just can't produce anything. They're not healthy flowers. So we'll see what happens. Now I am going to get rid of this white habanero. This is the one that produces true white habaneros. Um, it's got several on the plant. Several. But it just keeps dropping its leaves. It's not very healthy. What I'm probably going to do is harvest all the fruit and then just give it a complete shellacking and whacking and hopefully leave a few leaves and maybe it'll, re it'll recover. But it's struggled a lot. Not a very healthy plant from the very beginning. We've got uh, some early jalapenos back here. Um, maybe a few harvestable ones. Got a few more on this plant as well. Again, some harvestable ones. Probably smart to harvest them while they're young like this. Um, they won't be as hot as I'd like, but they'll be flavorful. And it'll keep this plant from uh, being stunted over time. We harvested at New Mexico Big Jim. It looks like it's just now, let's see if I get a good picture. Looks like it's just now starting to get some uh, beginnings of some flower buds on it. Again, fighting with the aphids. You can even see the carcasses. I've killed them. This is with soap, but uh, we had aphids on this and we've killed 90% of them, but they just keep popping back. And then one more early jalapeno here. Uh, we got a couple of fruits on that side and a few more down here. So again, I'll probably harvest some of those. We've uh, really struggled with this overwinter Tasmanian habanero. It does not like the inside. inside. I cut off all of the dying uh, foliage and it's coming back pretty strong, but it just won't set fruits either. Similar to this white hab over here, it just is struggling in, this, in the house. My Carol, uh, Caribbean blend's doing really well though. And I wanted to give you an update on the fruits here. Looks like we've uh, got like a yellowish orange tint to them. Really good looking. Um, they're really big too. I mean, these are some pretty big fruits. And the one back here is even bigger. So we've got some nice sized fruits on it. They go from green like that to yellow to orange. And here's that conjoined one, if I get a good picture of it. Lighting's poor, but um, that's the uh, conjoined one. Doing pretty good. We got several more peppers on this plant as well. And we even have um, a new one back here. I don't know if you can get a good look at it. But uh, anyway, doing pretty well. And then what I wanted to show you was, this is one of those Jiffy containers right here. So you add uh, seven cups of warm water, and then they pretty much raise up to the level of this. It's already got a hole here that you can very easily uh, plant the seeds in. The dome comes on top. And anyway, you can even plant the uh, uh Jiffy packs into the ground directly and the roots tr grow through them and they dissolve so kind of a cool little thing Won't have to worry about repotting and replanting as much as just take the pack out when the plants at the right size and pop it into uh, the ground or a pot And it's ready to rock and roll So here's what I'm going to be putting inside this. I've already got it labeled uh, right here, but uh, compliments of Kangstar. Thank you very much Kangstar. I'll put his link below but uh he sent me some seeds because we're neighbors. So he gave me um, some Banda Majax, Bahamian goat, uh, caramel bujolokia, a Carolina reaper, chocolate scotch bonnet, a Jamaican scotch bonnet of the yellow variety, got a seven pot brown, 
and a white devil's tail. And uh, I don't normally grow the super hots, so I'm really looking forward to getting these guys started. I think this little greenhouse that uh, Jiffy makes is gonna be uh, really kind of cool for me to get these off to a good start right in time, maybe in the next uh, month and a half, then I can get them outside directly from this into the outside. So I'm really looking forward to getting these suckers started. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the indoor grow room update. Again, plants aren't as healthy as I would like because of the, uh, the aphids and the pests. I mean, if I would have paid more attention, if you think about it, all I really got was a, was a, uh, New Mexico big gym and an unhealthy Tasmanian habanero and my red Savina plant died. So at the end of the day, I got one pepper for bringing all these aphids in. So I think lesson learned here, no need to overwinter. I've got a good, pretty good seed uh, supply which I'll show you guys in another video. But uh, anyway, that's my indoor update. I'm going to show a harvest at the end with some pictures. Thanks for watching. So here's the uh, harvest today. We got three of these uh, Caribbean blend peppers. Really nice looking peppers, actually. I broke the tail off that one right now, but really nice looking peppers. Even the uh, smaller one is not... Uh, not too bad. So pretty happy. I'll find out what they taste like and let you guys know. We got uh, 10 of the uh, white habaneros, seven mature. I'm sorry, 11 of them. Seven mature and then four a little premature. This one's, uh, let's see if I get to zoom in. This one's just starting to turn. And then we got um, seven of the serrano peppers. Just the size and flavor that I like. I like them before they turn red and when they're still green, when they're just getting a little yellow at the top, that's when they're their hottest to me. And then four smaller than I'd like jalapenos, but still gonna be full of flavor. Good for salsa. Anyway, that's today's harvest, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll give you an update uh, on a project I'm working on, maybe tomorrow, if not later tonight or middle of next week if I'm, if I'm unlucky. Thanks a lot.